Hi guys, I'm back with another EU4 Portugal playthrough video and uh, I'm continuing from where I left off though I did have a look at some things uh, while off camera seeing what's useful I decided I'll probably take this in my peace negotiation uh, for its increased naval force limit as that's a nice benefit for me but otherwise I'm still uh, uncertain about a lot of other territories and it will be decided by my diplomatic power. Now, I'm gonna kill them because I like rebels uh, on their side, so uh, I'll split off a small force to reduce my attrition. Uh, well, to be honest, I'll leave a force and take a main one, like some selecting the guys and putting here guys who are gonna stay because I want my leader to stick with me there and he's gonna eliminate them and then get uh, get off it I'm not gonna siege your peasants stuff another thing is I had a look and uh, these guys will be ready in two months to attack I think because it says uh, I can reinforce uh, 479 a month and uh, looking at my forces I'm about 800 short so yeah, that should be reinforced in two months and then I can siege him, well kill him and hopefully get, manage to make my way to Manhattan to prevent those guys from causing me any more trouble. Now I had a look here and uh, this province is actually worth getting due to its tax base. So I'll consider it later on, and over here as my potential future colony, this is worth getting. But I think I'll delay it, just because I need these colonies to finish. Like, I mean, they need to finish, they're just gonna cost me insane amounts. If you look at it at the moment, I'm not paying too much. But moment I claim this, 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 and the one that appeared here, I'll be paying insane amounts of money. Let's have a look. You're here. You're making your way there, so my cost will increase the moment you finish. And you're here. Okay, so that percentage is not the actual progress, that's just uh, the chances you have of gaining uh, extra native uh, settlers. I'm just reading this. Uh, the colony currently has 80 settlers and 2,500 uh, 2, natives living there. Okay, so it doesn't. It needs a better explanation about this. But we can live without it. Okay, so you guys finish. Now, I checked the army and I got a 21 stack somewhere around there. It's not too worrying, but it's still a slight concern. Oh, I'm taking Merchantalism Just because this is just gonna boost my income even further As you can see, the more you have of this, you can never have enough I looked, this gives you Trade Modifier Trade Power Modifier, so now I'm probably gonna have even more Trade Power here As... Okay, it's not saying Listing here, what does it list? It listed somewhere. There. I think it's over. No, it's not. I'm not. Okay. It probably goes with the trade power here where it says uh, I get a multiplier from trade power. It's somehow calculated. Uh, I had a look at it earlier and uh, I lost where the number is. Oh dear, you're running. 28th, 29th, 28th, yeah, I'm gonna catch you. Uh, pause. Uh, get off. Oh, I didn't pause. I unpaused. Uh, grain. That sucks. But grain has good demand, so it's actually really 
worth a lot this early in the game. I took one point oh one wall exhaustion. I did not want it, but it gave me extra army tradition, so I'm fine with that. And I'm just trying to avoid any. Uh, you don't need to force march anymore. Uh, what was I gonna say? I can't remember anymore. Now let's have a look at this force. It's almost there. Come on, one more tick. And... Done. You should be good enough uh, so you can board this ship. And fight them. Now, they're offering shitty deals. Off camera I actually tried to accept the deal set to see what I get because searching for each individual pro province set turning over is a hassle. They just offered me really shitty deals. They gave me provinces I don't want. Things like they tried to stop me here, provinces. And uh, I think they, they gave me colonies here, like colonies. Not like uh, towns, but colonies. So, I was not impressed by the tactics they used against me. So, my war I'm worried about my war score. They're sieging over there. I could try running for there, but I think I'll wait until I finish. How much would I need? Uh, okay, I can't get here. Bigger modifier already figured that out. If I can get Madrid. It would really turn the tide to my side. Okay, so let's have a look here and hopefully nothing happens on the other end. That's my biggest worry. Okay, that's cleared. Uh, I lost more troops than I had hoped. Actually, lost more troops than them. Uh, that's kind of even depressing. To lose more troops than the guys uh, I was picking a fight with. Oh, should I split here? Yeah, I think I'll actually split this force first. Uh, now you come back. You split. Can I split you evenly in half? I would think so. And I'll split split you evenly in half. So now this side. We'll take uh, this boat and go here. I'll have to see how many of these islands I can grab in my peace negotiations. The reason I want to grab them is s damn Spanish are pushing my money out. I had a slight look of like, uh, could I get the control over here? And the problem is, this is just a huge hassle to acquire. Yeah, sure, I can get Brittany, which would get me a lot of trade power. Because they have few of the core nodes. Like, here is 10. And then... Oh, what's the other one? And there's 12. What the problem is, uh, I'm still not having all the key nodes, and... It's just not worth the hassle. I think. That is my conclusion, it's not worth the hassle. Who's France at war, at war with? Uh, Brittany. Who are they allied with? The Papal States. Okay, let's not get involved with Papal States, we want to stay friends. And uh, now the other guy. Get on a boat. And this is a boat that hasn't left. So you're gonna go here, and hopefully this will all work out then, hopefully. I can never be too sure about things. Now where did this go? There it is. Okay, auto saving can be annoying. Just because it adds the stop in my video for a few <laughs> seconds. And sometimes I just have nothing to say while it's doing it. 
and I'm not too worried about the fleet coming back here in time so maybe no actually I'll reduce my if I go there I'll reduce my naval gain naval tradition gain because when you're fighting with uh, your naval tradition uh, points get determined of like uh, how your army's like so if your army was smaller you get more tradition and if your army was bigger you get less so that's why I don't want to do that I'm just grabbing this single province how is it going? it's going very fine And finally, I'm getting positive. Uh, and yes, less rebellions this way. How much is this? 15. I just can't use it at the moment. Now is just not the time. If it was some other time, I would. Uh, do I have a claim here? Yes, I do. Do I have a claim here? Yes, I do. Oh, I don't have any other problems than of you. Uh, do I? Nope. Can I get any claims here? Fabricate claim. I actually want this claim. There's a simple reason for that. I oh, know there isn't. I thought there was. Uh, I'm sure this was this province. Am I forgetting something? I was just watching... Uh, a Roomba play uh, on his portable playthrough and uh, there was some benefit taking this but I can't see it okay never mind I seem to be fooling myself then is there not even trade power advantage how can you have such a low trade power in the first place 0.5s it's um, making me disappointed in myself even trying to c claim it. Uh, do we even have any money? Just out of curiosity. I want to have a reason to... Okay, I, I have one reason to fight them. I'll take your money. That's the only reason I can come up with. And uh, this is going well. I suppose uh, yeah that's almost done then I can get off the land and stop taking attrition damage oh yeah this I notice I'm actually in a positive income I'm not sure how what did I do so good that gave me positive income uh, probably my trade I wish to have more ships, but I just don't have a force limit. Um, another thing is, uh, I was considering getting more barracks. Just to increase my army pr problems. So, let's have a look. Armory. Yeah, sure. Uh, not worth it, not worth it. Done. Done. Uh, what's after that? Uh, training fields. I suppose I'll spend on some training fields here, some here. Is there any worth here? Uh, not in particularly. And here. And what's after training fields? This. And here I'm already set what to build. I don't have anything else beyond that, so that's cool. And I still have a silly mission of uh, increasing my force limit. Ah, oh, that would use diplomatic power, so I'm not gonna build anything for that. I just need to save up all my diplomatic power for the right time. Now, I wonder what's worth it. So this is getting me points. 
Um, can you actually go around? And then I'll uh, try grabbing Madrid. It's sort of my objective to get Madrid. Is this worth it trading value-wise? Not really. Yeah, not really. It's not even well built up, is it? Nope, it's not. It would give me extra ships if I did take it in my peace negotiation. Uh, I don't have a captain, but... I seem to be outnumbering them so badly that I gained myself uh, another two ships. Damn, I'm over the force limit again. Naval tradition, I wish I could get more. Uh, no war score because they actually ran away and not... Uh, if they had... Uh, instead of running away, if they had uh, just simply moved out... Uh, I think it stayed in the battle until uh, they auto retreat. Then it went. Uh, would have went otherwise. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, gather up. The stack is incoming. No, I said gather up. And give up. And you as well. Now stack up. And see, they'll be on the 4th, I'll be on the 9th. If I force March, I'll be on the 6th. Let's get myself there before them. Okay, that did not work out. Where are you going next? You're gonna try sieging. I guess I got no choice but to attack you. Oh, I took attrition from just stepping into that. That'll take me 2000 manpower to recover from it. That's sad. And I should win. Uh, come on, I can win. Should I chase them is my next question. And I think I should. If I chase them, uh, I'll lose a lot of manpower, but I'll get other sort of advantages. So I lost a lot of troops. And I suffered a lot of war exhaustion. But I think I'll chase them down. Because if I can kill them, then I can make this war one sided, even if it does cost me. Oh, that slightly scared me. I didn't get any attrition. My game is not running too fast, is it? No, it's not. Uh, 1st of June. Let's give him a few days. Uh, Britain fabricating on me. How evil of them. Um... Now, my morale hopefully recovers. Problem is now my, my morale is taking repeated hits. For the sole purpose that... Uh... Oh, now they're getting ahead of me, aren't they? No, they're not. I need to really watch the arrow and not my character. Head to a throne. Tell me you have... Yes! Strong and good skills! This is a blessing! We actually got ourselves a decent leader. Uh, so if we continue now, let's have a look. 16th. And, uh... Who's? Creek. Oh, wait, that's maybe me getting discovered. 
doing bad things to Creek. You're not a big problem. We're building more annoying ships. How annoying. Ah, we built some army. Is my army fixing itself? Yeah, my naval should be fixing itself and then I can have more fights. And now working out, so 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, where are you going next? Okay, so your probably uh, final destination is over there. Uh, let's just double check. Yes, it is. And we should be able to beat you because you're getting all these negatives. Now one thing I can't work out. Sometimes in battle you're getting a bonus from your leader. Like fire or shock. But I haven't seen that recently. It's like when I see it is when I'm fighting like inferior nations. Okay, they're running. So I get to crush them. That's good. We took some war exhaustion. But very little. They lost a lot more men than me. I'm losing a lot of manpower though. But this is for the greater good. Or at least I claim it to be. Uh, so I assume you'll be going somewhere around here. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye because I don't want the same thing happen that happened last time. Which was uh, I took a wrong step. And then regretted it. So fifth. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's just start walking now. To make sure you're going in the same direction. Yes, you're going in the same direction. Eighteenth. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteenth. And that's where I'm meant to meet you. I'll have two days preparation. Yes, and caught you off guard. And just crush you. Oh, that's more war exhaustion than I planned to take, but we can take it. Now, your army was completely crushed. Yep gonna plan to try sieging me uh, it's not gonna work out now I need to split this force in the uh, right sizes so I'm gonna actually what's your fourth level level three what's here level two let's have a look what's level two saying to me Level 2 is saying I need 10 artillery. So level 3 will say I need 12 artillery. What about Madrid? Level 3. 12 artillery. Okay, let's take 12 and... Uh, 12 artillery and um, attack Madrid. So select army, split... I'm gonna take remain the, the of 12. So I got 14. If I take two, and that will be going to for the war goal. I'll take two of these guys. And probably one, two, three, four. And that should do it. So. Uh, you go off and you siege that. The rest of you go off and you siege this. And I'm actually gonna split this force uh, a bit more and hunt down these guys. Uh, who died? No! My brilliant leader dies! He had such good stats and he didn't live out the entire war. Oh, that's so sad. How can he die before the end of the war? 
Let's see how these colonies are doing. Um, not the greatest. I think these guys are getting hit by the natives. Yeah, it's quite hard colonizing around here due to the natives. Even I'm standing guard here. Any other of my colonies? You're making good progress. And so are you, so that's cool. And that siege is going well. My manpower is pretty bad. Now how long have I been marching? Not long enough. I was thinking did something finish building, but... They're halfway built. So maybe it was kind of long. Uh, what happened? Okay, I grabbed this. And, uh... Uh, that's good. That's very good. They might take some land back. Since I'm um, keeping the Spanish from <laughs> making an army. Well, I'm killing the Spanish army. Uh, you can get off this province that is trying to give me trouble then. That should be fine. And anything else I need to be aware of? Oh yes, I need to hunt down these two guys. So once I get on Madrid, I'll send down a hunting party. They should be able to fend off for themselves. How much is this costing me? Not much. And uh, what's considered part of my colony? Great news! Less overextension. What's my overextension now? I always forget which tab it is. 4%! Amazing! I bet it's this. And this is being called. I can't call this yet because it's still a colony. And uh, this is being called. So great results. Come on, you can make it. And... Uh, suicidal? Well, I'm not gonna blame you if you try to go suicidal on me. Your pick. Okay, so what's I'm getting? Oh, right. So it's... 12 artillery for 4 bow and it's 15 for 5. <laughs> Yikes. So what's uh, like uh, 6 artillery? Stefan probably... Sp nah, this will make it quicker. Now let's select and uh, send a hunting party down. So we're gonna... Nope, not artillery. We're gonna take all my... I was gonna say they take all my cavalry. This doesn't look like much of cavalry anymore. And say so take free that leaves very little army. Still, uh another squad and go hunt them down and then hunt them down. Wow, that really took a made me take a hit okay tell me how quickly you can see that Manhattan good I've got the force to deal with you pesky attackers now can I get any good claims over here that's good tax that's low tax that's low tax that's low tax that's good tax Fabricate claim. What's this province? On Genaga. That's not listed. Uh, let's go for Huron then. Is that the capital? By any chance? No, it's not. That's good. So let's go back here. And no more attrition. And nice sieging force, Burgundy. Uh, what was this? Oh yeah, that's me winning against uh, the intrusion. 
Oh dear. This is a joke, right? I'm losing. I won. But I took more damage than them. Um, that's not exactly how it should go. Just make your way back where you can recover. Because you're clearly dying. A dying army near extinction. And reinforce yourself. Naval supplies in Manhattan. Shitty resource, but it makes sense. It's Manhattan we're talking about. Uh, it's sort of a, a coastal, extremely coastal city. And uh, here, can I get? I can't get any higher bonus, can I? I didn't leave enough, but but at least I got uh, some benefits. I'm already through one phase, so I suppose I should be glad about that. Once I take Madrid, it will really hurt them. And I might be even able to finalize a war. How long would it take to march there? This is my only question. This will cost me so much taking all of it. Settle increase, that's good. Um, let's split off a uh, very minor force to reduce my attrition gains. And just march and see how long? February. Uh, Let's wait until we get a more positive score there, and then do it. Great! So you can go there now. Yeah, go there. I hope they're not gonna try taking here or here. I should really grab it for myself to prevent the expansion. Like, take a skull, claim this colony, grab this colony, and that will stop the expansion into this side. Grabbing that is not enough. Okay, so leave this to them. You know this is better. If I grab this and have that colony, that have have that colony, I'm basically cutting Spain off from uh, colonizing towards that side. I can just colonize myself. That's a good strategy. And uh, yeah, let's wait for you to take over. Wow, their forces is gathering a lot. How's my regeneration? Awful. And they're trying to attack me. Uh, do I have a leader? No, I don't. Uh, I can hire a leader. A decent leader. And they change their mind. They're like, <laughs> screw messing with him. And let's see, uh, so my military power is down again. It's really scary how it goes down so much. I can't really risk too much revolt chance. I think I'm gonna exhaust uh, some of my diplomacy once more. Because this war is getting slightly longer than originally planned. Are you actually getting any reinforcements? Uh, well, you can get up to 400 men, I just don't have enough men to give you, I suppose. Because they're getting split all across everywhere else. And how's you? You're doing well. So I'll have to look into peace negotiations. And I think once I finish sieging, I'll end this episode. And then do the next episode, all the crazy stuff. Oh, come on, give me cavalry. This is sort of sad. 
Okay, okay, a scary army approaching me. And I no longer have claim here. That's not a worry. I'll fight them later. This is almost done. I think I'm gonna do a crazy thing and uh, recruit myself a mercenary squad. Just to save myself attrition costs. Oh, let's see, how are these ships doing? They're all back to full health, so they can go out here. So can you. Should I go and pick these guys up? Yeah, I should. And get yourself a lift, and then you can crush some armies. That'll be good. And here's a siege going on. How's a siege? Can't I check? Uh, okay, get out of this menu. There you go. Oh, nice leader. Uh, suicidal tendencies? I'm not gonna blame them. If you have some suicidal tendencies. And, uh... No results whatsoever. It was just a clash. With... No results other than me having to repair my ships again. Okay. I was hoping I could grab a ship of them. Okay. And... This should be easy kill. What's your stats? Yeah, your stats are good enough. Uh, I took some attrition hits. That I'm not too happy about, but... My barracks finished. Since I got positive income, let's improve upon that. Uh, not here. Uh, what am I doing? So that wouldn't be a benefit. No with that, no with that. But if we go into this, nope, nope. I can get a benefit here. And if I click barracks, I can get a benefit here, a benefit here, and a benefit here. Anything beyond barracks, training fields. No, no, I don't need training fields. So let's uh, do the maths now. It hardly increased. Okay, so. I was just hoping it would increase. I think the uh, biggest benefit will be once I start building this thing because it will add me an extra 20%. Now if we look at our manpower, it's like 60 by the time I finish everything, it will be about 100, adding 20%, it will probably be about uh, 120, 130, I'm not sure what the exact number will be here. And I think I'm getting bonus to the supply. No wait, I'm looking at supply limit, manpower. So I'm completely wrong, looking at the wrong thing. So 140, it'll be about 200, about 240. Getting an extra 40 from that building would do me good. And uh, your five stack. If I get some manpower back, I can beat you. At the moment, uh, I've got a lot of dead people. So I can't do much about it. And uh, your peace deal is... Um, too expensive? How's your colonies doing? That's fine, that's fine. 
that's slightly slow and that's almost taken and Madrid is getting a that's also getting a I'm probably losing truckload of manpower over here it's like if I look I uh, should have maybe not I'm not too sure I think I'm losing truckloads but I might not be is your army increasing? Yes, it is increasing. That's good news. Good to know. And uh, which one was this? Hooray. You can get off and stop uh, eating up my attrition then. That'll help me somewhat. I need to kill those pirates. They've just been annoying me for so long. I just don't have a spare fleet. And galleons. Oh, this should be all fixed next month. So come on, let's just wait for next month. Oh, I need to deal with them. Um, still too early to deal with them. Um. Oh, uh, what's this? Native in Chitawa something. Good news. The quicker the better. So everything is going well. Come on, just finish your siege. You're getting there, and he's getting there. And then the score will be so good, I'll be able to take everything you own from you. I'm not liking that. That's not going my way. Oh no, don't reinforce it! I don't have enough manpower. Who, who could have ever thought that ma lack of manpower can be this annoying? I'm just wondering. I'm gonna build this. For one sole reason. I don't like my capital getting taken out too quickly. And here. What's my income still? Still in a positive. Unbelievable. I'm still over a force limit. I suppose I can get two more squads of mercenaries here. At an affordable rate. And that will let me fight them off. I hope. So come on, 6,000. And they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. They're dying. For the greater good. And I only lost 200 men. So that's good. And that's a six stack... Uh, Oh, here's an eight. Oh, I think I need to wait for one more. Six. Uh, this is a far more impressive army now. With a good leader. Why are you fighting rebels? You are not meant to fight any rebels. Well, you won, and uh, I lost a thousand, almost two thousand men. I'm not too pleased about it. Uh, siege finished here. Oh, that's not good. That was my siege. And this is now cord. That's good. I lost something I wanted. <sighs> I don't think I'm ready yet. Well, let's see. I'm an 8 stack or 6 stack. I'm, I'm just not ready. And his infantry... Uh, no, it is training field, so I already finished buying in. Okay, you're getting hunted down. 
uh, ivory, great news. Let's see, hopefully my leader will finish you off. And then I'll chase you down. Will I be able to win if I chase you? I think so. Okay, so war score. I took a big hit to my war exhaustion. I've they got more men. I'm probably bad idea then. Yeah, bad idea. I just need to prevent them from sieging anything else in the near future. And I almost got everything I wanted here. Well, I wasn't marching, but I discovered this. So, hooray. And then before peace deal, I'll have to grab all those colonies. At least that's my idea of what I should do. You can maybe rest here. I still don't have any actions planned in the near, near future. And that's halfway done. What's this? Yeah, I'm helping you recover yourself. Don't blame me about being in foreign territory. I need to kill off the squad. I'm taking losses, too many losses. Uh, the idea is basically to keep them off. And since I'm gonna take Madrid, they'll lose a lot of score. Okay, hurry up, take this. Yeah, another 42 days. Uh, papal influence, prestige. I got max prestige, take papal influence. And then... Spread it across. Oh, I used it all up. Well, I'm glad. As long as the Spanish lose the papal influence. Didn't I have a papal... Well... Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I thought I had one. Unless he died. Of young age. Okay, who knows. Scary armies. I don't like them around here. This guy is not exactly in a great shape. After the rebels. Oh, I feel sorry for him. <laughs> he just landed here <laughs> and then gotten beaten up. And there's a big stack here. Uh, someone marching towards me. I hope not. Okay, what did I grab? Madrid. And uh, should I reduce the income here as well then? I got a Madrid. Madrid has lame resource. So I got Madrid and just need to get that. And then I think I'm done with everything I wanted to do for the war. Other than grabbing these colonies. So just getting enough war score. Wow, I feel surrendered. Oh, not surrendered, surrounded. What am I saying? <laughs> okay, come on, you can do it. And they'll try fighting back. So just have to keep them off it. I'll need to stay away from any big wars after this. Revolt risk uh, n is not welcome. Hope my video is not getting too long. I'm gonna cut it moment that siege finishes. 
I know there's an army for me to hunt down. Or maybe not. I would lose. All I got is artillery. <laughs> yeah, I would lose. You know, I have bigger numbers, half of them can't attack. We just, uh, basically artillery give, I think, uh, at least in the previous game, it would give uh, half of attack and half of defense to the troop in front of it. Hooray! A hundred! This is giving me overextension. Yeah, truckload. Uh, I'll have to spend it. I don't think I'll get that much overextension from just single province. But I guess I got more than a bargain for. Hmm. Okay, anything else I need to be aware of? Okay, just finish this siege. And then I'll be happy. And the buildings is almost over. So that's uh, 351. Ooh, hooray! At least that's more affordable. 351. I'm actually gonna keep the colonists for putting into one of these colonies. Oh, what I'm doing? Oh yeah, grabbing this. Come on. Today. Rebels. Just how far are they falling apart? Yeah, they're falling apart. Badly falling apart. I'm trying to rebuild. And quickly, quickly, quickly. Discovery spread, discoveries. No! Now is not the time! Now is not the time! Pause. Um, yeah, military technology cost reduction. That's dealt with. That's dealt with. I said now was not the time. I could chase them, but I'd just be throwing away my own stuff. I'll give it a month more. I've got a great leader, so I should. Yes! Okay, so I'll end my this part here, so see you next time.